if you guys look at this, this is the sine graph, okay? Before you guys take your test, you should know how to, what the sine graph looks like. You should also know how to identify, if I have transformations, how to identify the period, the x scale, the vertical transformation, the phase shift. You should know the domain, the range, the boundness, the end behavior, all the stuff that we've already talked about. All the stuff should come together. So if you have problems with that before you take the test, make sure you come and see me. Now, the next thing that we're going to talk about, though, is here is the sine graph. Now, I started, I graphed in, um, I graphed what the, uh, um, what the initial period is. And then I just kind of dashed the other ones because hopefully you guys understand that this graph continues on and on forever, right? Keeps on going. Never stops. It's going to go this way, on and on and on forever. Does everybody agree with me? Yeah. Okay. Um, so what I want you guys to understand, though, if we were going to graph the inverse of this, I would have to reflect it about the y equals y equals x line. So if I was going to graph what the inverse would look like, it would look something like this. Now, basically what's happening is um, the graph is going up. It's going to go as far as wide as, if here's pi, this would be pi halves. This would be negative pi halves. No. What I basically did was I took the graph, I basically took the graph, and I reflected it about the y equals x axis. If you do that, if you reflect something about the y equals x axis, it's going to look like this. Just think about it. Everything that's here goes like this. Gets reflected in about. Yep. Everything that's below it gets reflected below that. OK? So I thought it would be like, You're not rotating it. Here is your angle. If here's my box, what happens? It gets rotated like that, right? So it's the same. I mean, it's the same thing. Everything that's below it goes down below now. Everything up here is going to go up here. It's reflected over the y equals x line. This is what the reflection is going to look like. Okay? I can spend more time, but I don't have time to basically go there. If you don't understand it, you can practice with me. But I, I. If you don't understand it, just believe me that this is what the reflection looks like. Because what's most important about this, is this a function? No. 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 It doesn't pass the vertical line test. And we are, we're smart enough to know that this doesn't pass the horizontal line test, right? So we, immediate, we should have known already from the start that sine, the inverse of sine, is not a function. However, like the last problem that I did, we can create a constraint, right? So what the constraint I'm going to do is I want my values. So if I'm going to create a constraint, what I'm going to do is I'm going to restrict the domain. My restriction is I'm going to say I only want my domain to be between negative pi halves Okay. So what that means is I'm only going to look at if you guys go back to this if you guys go back to this graph if I only restrict the domain from negative pi halves to pi halves that means I'm not going to I'm not going to find the domain or the inverse for the rest of this graph. The only portion that I'm going to care about is between negative pi halves and pi halves. So what would that look like now for my inverse function? Do you guys see what that graph looks like? No. no. It's right here. From this is basically, if you guys look at this, if you reflect over the x equals y line, the, ax, the axes don't really get switched. But you guys can say the scaling has been switched. Instead of my graph going up to 1 and down to negative 1, how far left does this graph go? How far right does it go? So can we find the domain and range for sine inverse? Yeah, of course we can. Sine inverse of x with the restriction of this, your domain 
is going to be from negative 1 to 1. The range is going to be how low, because remember, we said that we're going to restrict this graph from the, we're going to restrict the domain. We're going to do sine of x, but I'm going to now add the restriction. I'm only going to care about the domain between negative pi halves and pi halves. So in reality, when I'm finding the inverse, I'm not actually finding the whole inverse. I'm only doing the inverse based on this restriction, which is from negative 1 halves to pi halves. So the range, it goes down to negative pi halves to pi halves. Um, well, you can use your own restriction. I mean, you could obviously do a restriction. But the thing is, the, if you just keep on using the same restriction, it's just going to repeat itself. I mean, the values are going to be a repetition of each other, right? So you want to be able to use the restriction. Um, and this is going to be our general restriction that we're going to use for sign. Yes? Skip over what? This? Hopped over what? Yeah, that's how high it's going to go. Because if I go past pi over 2, what happens? It's not, it's not in my restriction. Well, why is that bad? Because then the graph isn't a function anymore, right? Because if I go past pi over 2, it cancels out the vertical line test, right? So if I, this restriction is the only thing that's keeping this inverse of being a function. If you go past the restriction, it's not a function anymore, right? So when you're finding the inverse and your inverse is not a function, you have to have a restriction. And the restriction that we use for sine is the angle has to be between negative pi halves and pi halves. Just make sure you guys have this. It's going to be really important. I would recommend you know what the graph looks like. So you can identify the domain and range. You can identify if the graph, the max and the min, you can identify where it's increasing, decreasing. Um, any other kind of behavior that goes on with graph, just in case you're asked about it. So I'd recommend knowing what the graph looks like, knowing the characteristics, and but the restriction is really the most important thing. OK? Yes? All right. Here, I graph past my restriction. It's, it's not in the vert. Yeah, it's all dotted. Yes, Logan? Okay. Okay with that? All right.